So the auto balk hand will attach to the quick disconnect wrist, which I'll just screw onto here. Has a little spring loaded and little notches on the bottom. That'll let it click into the uh, bar down there and a the little locking plate. So when this is up, it's locked, it won't release. When it's down, you can push it in and that'll release it. Here's the click, not moving. This is the part that'll get laminated in, so that part will go into the socket. So whenever the actual part that connects to the wrist nice and flush to the wrist unit. I'm going to take all this apart. So when I laminate, I'm only going to laminate the uh, bottom part of here in. And all the guts and springs and all that, that'll come out. <laughs> yeah, that's a quick disconnect wrist. Pretty cool. This is taking apart the wrist. Uh, first, I take the uh, five screws out. And then I will separate the lamination part, which is right here. That part will get laminated in. I'll fill it with putty. This is the locking part, so there's actually the ring that'll lock it all into place that holds onto the wrist unit. Got the five holes there. You can see just a little bit, about a sixteenth of an inch, comes over and that'll lock into that ring. There it is with the spring in place. It has two more little springs holding the plate up against the uh, bottom of the uh, face there. So when that's all in, the five screws will go through and that'll all lock it into the uh, lamination base. Once it's back together, the little screws will go back in. And this part will be laminated into the actual unit. Setting up the arm for lamination, I have my plastic pulled. I foam up my wrist unit a little bit. I have a spacer plate on the end that I've grind to a slight angle so that the wrist unit's canted. Uh, everything's sealed up with a PVA bag. Uh, so the wrist unit's just going to sit on the top there and kind of float. I'll pull on my first layer of night glass. Everything will get tied off into the little notched end on the end of the wrist unit there. Tie it in nice and tight, and then I'll cut off any excess string. Uh, my first layer of nylon glass, I'm just going to leave balled up on top. So when I put the braided nylon on top of that, I can reflect that back down. I'll do one layer of carbon fiber strip just around the end of the wrist unit, just to give it a little more strength. I just want to make sure everything sits nice and flush. I'll cut off any excess. This is the braided nylon, excellent for strength. And that'll just get tied into the same way, right around the end of the wrist unit. Cut off any excess string and I'll reflect that back. And then I'll reflect that first layer of eyeglass glass back along with four more layers of eyeglass. glass. So it'll end up being six layers of eyeglass glass total with the double layer of the braided nylon and a little piece of carbon around the end of the wrist unit there. Uh, one more layer of the flex a stretch nylon over the outside and then it's ready for resin. So I'll pull the PVA bag over, apply the vacuum, and then I'll start wicking the resin down through. And you all have seen that plenty of times. Okay, after the resin sets and the socket's all ground up and finished, I also finished a plastic liner, a polyethylene, and they'll just seed into each other. Uh, next was to reattach the wrist unit. Uh, I'll make sure everything's in the correct position. I have the release on the medial side. Uh, the five little screws will get torqued down the spec and locked tight into place. Uh, just test out the wrist and the hand, make sure everything's working. That's going to attach to the harness, which will go around the shoulder, figure nine harness. Uh, there's the cosmetic glove to go over that. That's what I color matched to. I think I got pretty close. My socket does have a little bit more of a shine to it. Uh, and then to work the glove into place, it's just a little bit of donning spray and a little bit of heat. Make sure you get all the wrinkles out, make sure everything sits nice and perfect. I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, getting ready for the harness. Yep, there's one prosthetic arm. And I just test it out by picking up an empty Coke can.
This is the basic figure nine harness for the prosthetic arm. As you can see, it'll loop onto the opposite shoulder and the prosthetic hand will click into the liner. Uh, and then with just a little bit of shoulder excursion, that's how you operate the arm, operate the hand. As you can see, it's just about a half inch pull on the uh, cord there to operate it. So the patient will just hook their one arm in. Their other arm will have the prosthetic gel liner on it already. And that'll click into the prosthetic hand. And just with a little bit of uh, shoulder motion, a little bit of arm motion, you'll operate the hand. Very basic setup. So the gel liner will roll up onto the arm. It has a little pin lock. So he holds it on there. Release. I'll turn it up.